The month of Ramadan is the most religiously significant time of the year for Muslims. This period of contemplation takes on added significance this year as close to 2 billion Muslims around the world are now adapting to a new normal that's drastically different thanks to COVID-19. At WARC, we're continuing our mission of providing the evidence and expertise that brands and marketers need to plan effectively. And in a recent article, Nazira Ashari, Strategy Director at TBWA Kuala Lumpur, outlines how brands should be approaching this period. I'm delighted to welcome Nazira, who joins us today to talk about the next phase as brands look to eat celebrations and beyond in their plans. Traditionally, there's been quite a switch in marketing tone between Ramadan and Eid as Muslims shift from reflection to celebration. Given the current circumstances, how should brands be rethinking the transition this year? Um, so you're definitely right when it comes to the uh, transition in tone, how usually brands switch from uh, that whole concept of reflection. Uh, like there's, there's some somberness of Ramadan that we kind of need to keep intact because at the end of the day, this is such a spiritual, very private moment uh, in a Muslim's life and there's a, a lot of humility uh, in, in, in that space as well. So the moment we transition to uh, and usually it needs to be about celebration because we have gone through uh, one month of um, fasting journey and more because to some people it's not just about fasting because for the fasting portion of it it's not that difficult at all the more difficult ones are how do you um stop yourself from doing the unnecessary things for example as simple as um not swearing for, <laughs> let, um, for example so i think um it's really about having full control of yourself and it makes it, it gets tougher knowing knowing COVID nineteen is happening. This these circumstances that we are in right now, uh, but we have to remember that with or without COVID, it is the it, it marks the end of a journey of such an important holistic journey. So my suggestion is definitely how can we can brands especially look at um, approaching a celebration in a more modest manner. Think about that thankfulness aspect uh, of uh, the celebration that we need to hold on to. Because at the end of the day, this whole element of shukur or thankfulness or gratitude uh, needs to be there. And I think it makes sense with, with, with the, the COVID situation that we're in, right? But whatever it is, what, whatever kind of celebration that we're going to get into, remember that you have a platform to continuously remind your audience, your consumer, to be mindful of the safety measures. Uh, you really think about the social distancing part and really think about each other. Um, I think the moment you continue doing that, um, that's how you, 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 you kind of like set your goal or your purpose straight. Now, going, following, keeping in line with your theme of, you know, doing things that may not mean a lot just for the sake of doing something. You know, when it comes to Eid celebrations, obviously there are a lot of campaigns now that probably are set in place for Ramadan. But looking forward ahead to Eid, um, when it comes to brands playing a role in these celebrations, is there such a thing as doing too much? I don't think so. As long as it's, it's actionable, it's something tangible that you can give. It's not a question of doing too much or doing too little. It's make sure that it's right for the audience. How, how they would accept it, would they get it um, in a manner that would benefit them? So let's say you are a brand that talks to students or like uh, Gen Z, for example. And you know, not a lot of people, not a lot of brands are talking to Gen Zs in this period of time, right? So like, what would students uh, be dealing with right now? So if you actually look at that segment and really understand the struggle that they're going through, um, I mean, all of this transition from uh, physical classes to online classes, and imagine um, students who have to go back to their home time not having, uh, let's say, access to uh, computers, for example, if these are the kind of people who uh, would actually have to go to the library to uh, do their homework on, on computers and stuff. So you gotta, you might want to look at all these details facing your core audience 
and think about how you can address that. So it's not about the question of doing too much. It's a question of doing the right thing for the right people um, based on the exact need. So you got to really figure out the inside behind what they need at this point of time. How do they transition uh, during uh, from pre-COVID to COVID and now COVID Ramadan and COVID aid later. Um, so think about um, how can you simplify your execution to make it um, less, less tacky I don't, I don't know how to explain that, like less tacky, less extra, uh, but meaningful. There's the element of meaningfulness in there. Uh, I think also remember you have a, a platform to, uh, to keep that spirit alive, to help people feel like they're not alone in this. So that you kind of, kind of need to manage the whole, that tangible um, delivery plus managing how can you support the emotional um, turmoil that they're dealing with you know so you kind of like manage both at the same time whether through digital execution or none a major theme in your guidance to brands is the opportunity for rediscovery amid the change brought about by COVID-19 obviously for Muslims it's the opportunity to rediscover the spirit of Ramadan and deepen their faith while for brands it's a chance to rediscover purpose and how that translates to action. Um, you know, beyond this year's Eid celebrations, what's the key change you hope to see when it comes to how brands choose to engage with their Muslim consumers? I really, really like this question because I feel like this is the, my only opportunity to be honest for once. <laughs> I mean, I try to be honest with my clients and whatnot, but I think this is like more general comments uh, when it comes to Ramadan and Eid marketing, uh, whether with COVID or without COVID. Um, I think a lot of brands are very scared to accept the fact that this is a religious celebration. So I, for my many years, um, for many years, I've been dealing with um, that unwillingness to um, be too Islamic in, in the execution. I'm like, and let's touch just the surface. Let's go with, you know, thematics that we are familiar with. Let's go with something that um, everyone can feel, like even the non-Muslims can feel too. And I'm, I'm not saying that it's not right. I mean, of course, go ahead and do that if it's aligned with you. But sometimes I would like to see a brand that would address uh, the Islamic part a lot more. And I think this period of time, this COVID 2020 Ramadan and it is the, the right time to do that. Because being stuck in these walls, you tend to be like reflecting a lot more, uh, soul searching. And I think as Muslim, you will also start uh, soul searching on that spiritual end, like really rethinking your relationship with God. So it is super timely for brand to touch on that communicate that that level that really going deep into uh very i wouldn't say very islamic but islamic uh approach uh to helping the the audience or muslim to strengthen their faith and i want to share with you one of my latest discoveries uh campaigns that i just recently saw a couple of days ago on linkedin but this is not a campaign uh done in malaysia uh it just recently launched and I think it's, it's such a fantastic campaign coming from um, very true insight um, around um, the month of Ramadan. So the uh, campaign that I, I am referring to is by this a UK-based uh, charity foundation called My 10 Nights. The campaign is called uh, I Caught Laila Tul Qadar. So Laila Tul Qadar is... Uh, the final 10 nights of Ramadan. The final 10 nights of Ramadan that is considered uh, the night of power. So if you do good during these last 10 nights, so you are going to get the, the blessings, the like double or triple the blessings than your usual days, for example. So you have to probably double, amplify your, your spiritual effort, you know, connecting to God, do good, do charity, helping others. So they created this, um, this campaign called I Caught Laila Tul Qadar that, uh, that demonstrate 
how the platform works, which is automation of charity uh, donation for that 10 nights so sometimes people forget especially you are if you are busy um, uh, I, I'm, and I, I think the target audience for this campaign are um, modern uh, career driven uh, Muslims uh, in uh, the US the UK and Canada because that's where they can access there's a market that they can access this this uh, platform because they understand that this audience are probably busy and doesn't have the time or uh, uh, to remember to donate on a daily basis they they do a uh, 10 night straight uh, donation automation of donation uh, called my 10 nights but what I really love about the execution is that the representation that comes out so they had created a series of videos uh, that really demonstrate Muslims in a light that uh, you probably haven't seen a lot of especially in the West so you're seeing Muslim woman as a consultant you're seeing Muslim woman as a TV anchor you're seeing uh, a Muslim guy as um, someone really smart so really the kind of representation that we that we wish to see uh, more of and it, it comes from a real very deep Islamic insight that a lot of brands are very scared about but the execution super modern uh, I, I feel like I need to sign up but I just I found I cannot I, I cannot donate because I'm not in the market sadly but I will definitely reach out to the team behind it because I already said yes I said hi to them so I think this is a really good example of uh, that key change that, like you said key change that needs to happen during this month because brands have to, re to remember like how for if you're just gonna stick with the, the same old narr narrative of togetherness uh same old narrative of uh you know the same old things that you keep saying all over ramadan that is super surface it gets you nowhere brands are scared of going too islamic remember islamic being islamic is not just about prayers being islamic is about going doing good deeds it's about being sustainable have uh, making sure that you help muslims uh have a good uh, responsible ramadan so muslims have this very negative reputation of doing a lot of food waste because we like all of these big feasts so why don't you give Muslims some, like a slap and just say, here, let me fix this whole, um, you got to start being sustainable. You got to remember about the environment because at the end of the day, that's, that's, it, that's more, that's Islamic. So, so I think brands really need to start, open up their eyes and their mind and explore that side a lot more. And COVID is a fantastic timing for that. Great. Thank you, Nazira, for sharing your thoughts for this. And I wish you and your family a happy and blessed Ramadan. Thank you. You can find more content on marketing in the COVID-19 crisis on Wart.com, along with more insights on how to prepare for the coming recession. Stay tuned for the next video interview in our series.